Hello, this is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm an applications expert with MLC CAD Systems. Today's tech tip for you is regarding the SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in and how we can make some quick changes to our balloons. Once we have an inspection project started and we have our initial balloons, I'm going to go into this add edit balloons. We can actually do quite a bit of changes just within the single dialog box. One of the first things that we can do is deselect rotation to match characteristics. That's going to make all of these balloons rotate so they're in the same vertical orientation as all the other balloons. Next I can change how I want all of my balloons to look on a global scale. Perhaps I want the fit to be a tight fit. I can even change the shape if I wanted to. When we have that key characteristic if you've ever wondered why it turns to a flag pentagon, it's because of this setting right here. And I can change it. So again, if I want the fit to be tight, or perhaps I want the shape to be a diamond, I can make that change as well. Now the section underneath that is regarding offsets. What is this really referencing? The offset is the physical value that the inspection balloons are offset relative to the dimension G, D, and T, whatever it's actually extracting. This is why the balloons always appear in that upper left hand corner relative to our dimension. If we wanted to change this, we can change these physical values. I'm changing all of these Y values to zero so that the balloons are going to be directly horizontal on the Y, or I'm sorry, the X axis to the actual dimensions. Now once I've made several of these changes, I'm going to click OK to see what these changes make. So in a couple of seconds, we were able to really kind of overhaul the balloons here. This add edit balloons can actually take us a step further in that I can now filter out certain balloons that I simply don't need to see for a specific process. This could be GD and T or notes. Again, if I click OK, notice how those balloons are now no longer on my sheet. This can be a really fast feature when you do have to pare down some of these dimensions. Again, these dimensions are not deleted. They're simply not being shown on the drawing at this time.